We're joined by Kate Walker. Kate, season high, 21 points. First time we're talking to you this year. Congratulations, Kate. Thanks, Justin. All right, those first 28 and a half minutes, Colgate was bringing the energy. What changed those final 11 and a half? Um, I think we just really locked in on D. That was a big emphasis in ha at halftime. We were scoring, we just weren't getting stops that we wanted. So we locked down on D and hit shots on offense, and it worked out. Uh, did the upperclassmen just kind of come together in that fourth quarter? Because you outscored them 27-11 in that final stance. It seemed like it was the big three of you uh, Slagus in English. Yeah, I think, well, the ball movement all around was just great. Ellie Mack played amazing. Everyone played really good minutes. Um, Abby Johnson, or Abby Cap and Allie Johnson always <laughs> come in and play big minutes. So I think the team effort just really picked up. Uh, we knew that they were obviously really into it, and we felt that we had to really match their energy, if not top it that second half. You know, Kate, I think Ellie's a huge wild card with this team. Uh, three straight double-figure performances. She was kind of a sleeping giant the first couple months. What have you done as a leader to kind of wake her up? Because you need her if you want to be successful. Um, yeah, we definitely do. We need everyone on the team, and that's been a big point. Um, if she's not scoring some games, it's okay, but we definitely know that she can score. She's one of our best like offensive players. Um, so really just for her, I think a huge thing has been confidence, which it always is for new players. Uh, it was for Slag and I, and it definitely has been for Ellie and Abby and Allie. Uh, confidence is just really huge. I've been really impressed with you. You've had to reinvent your game. You know, the three ball's not going, so mm -hmm. you're trying to carve through traffic and absorb some contact. Uh, what's triggered that spark in you? Um, I think I've always... It's just little things. I've always kind of had that in me, but I think this year it's definitely opened up because I have to. We don't have Debs and Sune to get those points in the paint. Um, so I've definitely been driving a lot more, and that's been working for me. And I know my shot's going to fall here hopefully soon because I'm not really doing anything different than I was last year. It just hasn't been falling for me. So. How competitive is the Patriot League? I mean, that's, a, that's an 0-6 team, but they don't play like it. No, not at all. They really brought the energy tonight. They came out ready to play, and um, it's always a fun fun battle to play with teams that are really coming at you. I know your mom made the trip from Iowa. Mm -hmm. Does that make it much sweeter get to give her a big hug after this broadcast? Yeah, I mean, I love my family. It's always great to see them, so that was really sweet for me this break. Last one. It felt like winter break was an eternity. Uh, you ready for classes to start on Tuesday, Kate? I think I might be getting there. <laughs> um, it's been a long break. We really enjoyed it. Lots of basketball, obviously, uh, but I think we're all kind of ready to get back um, in the books and get some more socialization in our lives. <laughs> Yeah, parking's going to be a lot more difficult, though. Oh, yeah, though. that's always a downside of that. <laughs> Did you order your textbooks yet? Um, probably not, so I need to <laughs> Don't let that. Coach Russell know. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. 21 points, 9 rebounds. Thank awesome you, job. Thank you. Big time win for Bucknell. Thank